So how in the world does one atom interact with another atom at a distance? And what we do is we go back to the fundamental mathematics of quantum mechanics and we interpret it as describing the motion of different parts of the atom. So we, we build out a version of the atom that is a little bit more what we think of as refined than the traditional, you know, shells that chemistry gives us. You know, there's a nucleus, there's these electron shells stuck on top. Um, we make the fundamental observation that actually, if you look at the location of the electron in its shell, in a simple atom like a hydrogen, for instance, the shell, the electron can usually be detected at some given distance from the nucleus. But the result of that that you can interpret is that the atom actually has an extended architecture. It's kind of furry in a sense. In other words, there are some sort of projections that reach out and are capable of interacting with its neighbors. And once you make that realization, then you're in a whole new ball game because you have the ability through relay networks to actually affect all of the different motions at the surface of each atom across vast distances without having to invoke magical forces or queue up Star Wars soundtracks, that kind of thing.